Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And take a jacket because even though it's been warm today, cooler air is quickly moving in. We'll see those temperatures dropping through the 60s this evening down to 61 by the time we get to 11 o'clock. And then a little cooler tomorrow. We have a cold front right on top of the Dayton area as we speak. We'll be north of that front tomorrow, so in the cooler air, upper 40s at 8 o'clock, 62 degrees at noon, and 69 at 5 o'clock, up around 70 for the high tomorrow. But still, those numbers are going to be running a little bit above normal for us. It's been uh, looking great out there with the sunshine we've had. This week, check out some of the fall color. Gary down in Caesar Creek sending in that picture to report it. Amy up in Fort Lormie, that looks like a white oak, maybe right there with that uh, big spread of the uh, tree canopy. And uh, also checking out uh, even some of the fall color on the ground right now as folks get ready for Halloween. Not that far away, just about a week or so. Maybe a little colder by the time we get to Halloween based on the latest forecast. But today we've been watching a temperature spread of about 10 degrees from north to south. You can see readings into the mid 60s now. Wapakoneta, Bell Fountain up to Salina, uh, north of our front, the front right on top of the Dayton area. So we're down to 74 here, but still close uh, to that 80 degree mark down south. So actually, that temperature spread has even gotten up to about 15 degrees right now. That cold front moving through this evening and definitely looking at some cooler weather around the area on Friday. And what a beautiful sunset tonight. Some scattered clouds out there as we check out the Stall Vision camera looking across the green. And we had a high today of 81 degrees. We were only one degree off the record high of 82 in 1920. 57 our low temperature this morning. 26 the record low, 1976. And right now our temperature has come down from that high of 81. Uh, already dropping 7 degrees down to 74. Wind down to the north at 9 miles an hour. And the relative humidity, a little stickier air out there today at 53%. You can see our weather checkers. Pat Lee Cannon, Trotwood, 80 degrees. Barbara Richardson at 80 degrees as well. Hope Qualky, 79 in Bellbrook. But there's some of that cooler air to the north. Up in Greenville right now, Lowell Miller looking at a temperature reading of 71. So here comes the cooler air in from the north, the 50s and 60s to the north. Reading still around 80 at Terre Haute, no doubt where that cold front is right along Interstate 70. We can actually see that on the uh, radar sweep here. Notice this little line. This isn't actually rain. This is just a density uh, change in the air, and that is indicating where that cold front is moving through northern Montgomery County. Now, we had, did have some rain earlier today pass through the northern sections of the state, but plenty of dry weather back to the west of us. So look for dry conditions tomorrow. Future track forecast showing that rain pushing southeastward away from us or mostly just some clouds. And then we'll be looking at dry conditions tomorrow. Quite a bit of sunshine across our area as we go through the day. Just some scattered clouds. Tonight, partly cloudy, a little cooler into the upper 40s. Winds will eventually turn around to the northeast tonight. Tomorrow, partly sunny, a nice day on tap. Afternoon high should be up around 70. There's your hour by hour, 56 at 10 o'clock. 62 degrees at noon with partly cloudy skies. Still up around 70 tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock and 67 at 6 p.m. Your forecast for Friday, as we showed you there, that high at 70. Looking good for the high school football games tomorrow night. Operation football, we're expecting temperature readings right around 62 at game time. That's not too bad for the end of October, but rain around the area on Saturday, a high of 70. Cooling off on Sunday to 62, 63 on Monday, and then rain chances rising again late. Tuesday into Wednesday and Thursday. A little more active weather pattern, it looks like, uh, toward the middle part of next week. But still, even though it's going to be a little cooler tomorrow, another nice day. Another, on the way. Yeah, oh, ending the week on another great day. You got to like that. Jack's going to like Jack's it too.